His hand's fine. Keep. Keep. I like s uh, the summoner because it lets me play Thoughtness here. Sand Summer seems good against this draw. We have a dismember up too. Cool. Smash is a six six. Hmm. I would take two. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Travis, that's such a good play. I totally missed that. Wait, why not? Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna thought not him and then attack. And solve this member up. Oh, double crayon plating must be nice. What's our plan here?
Wait, we can race this? I don't think we... How are we racing a cranial plating? <laughs> On nine. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to block the signal fast. Take 12, go down to 5. Mm. Then we hope to draw a path next turn or something. Okay. Path. That's what I'm thinking of. I think we just have to tag with both. Represent second dismember. Exactly. That was my plan too. He's thinking about it. Yes. Dude, magic's awesome. I love when that stuff happens. We're still out of the woods yet, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So we can chump the master. Why do you want to double chump? Yeah, I was thinking about chumping the master. Going to three. And then if we draw... Uh, So 
So let's say we draw. So what are our draws? What are our best draws if we trump the master? We're at three life. We draw Smasher. Midnight blocks Mimic. Ink Moth blocks. He could pass it too, that's the thing. He passes the, the Mem Knight when he blocks the Smasher, killing the trade. I don't know how we win this game. I don't know how we win this game if we double chump. We chump with both. We draw a path. We're still in bad shape. If we draw a drown, we can't cast Drowner. We draw another Sky Spawner. We can do. Yeah, I think we have to single chump, and I think we used to chump the master. And go down to three. Because four and three are the same. And Sky Spire has more power. Yeah. I'm just going to chump the master. I think. They would have to win on the next turn basically anyway. Oof. Displacer. I think that changes things, right? So we might be dead because he be, he can activate Ink Moth. If we attack with everything, we play this place where we die. So maybe we play endless one on one. Displacer, sex now. Well, the problem is you can activate Ink Moth and then pass it, Travis. Yeah, you're right. We can't go to two. But he still has two lethal attackers because he can pass the Ink Moth, ne the Link Moth Nexus. I'm sorry, he can pass the Cramo Plating. He said this is riveting. I don't know if he's being... being serious or not so serious. So, like, if he activates Blink Moth, attacks with everything, well, attacks with these three, he could pass the cranial plating. Oh, you're right. Okay, you're right. You need to chump. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I forgot that we're going to make this a 4-4. Four -four. Oops. Well, he's not going to chump. He can just pass the plating to Memnite. So we'll trade a guy.
Yeah, we're dead. Oh no, he's missing a mana, so we're not dead. Uh, no, we're still dead. He activates Blink Moth, then he like taps it over this, yeah. I think we played that game well. And we still die. But then he's in chum. So he still has the same M night. So what do you like cutting in this matchup, Travis? Cause like I kinda wanna cut Thonuts here because I feel like they're gonna empty their hand too fast. Like I could see it being good like to take their like their one piece of good, like, removal. Like, I definitely don't like Mimics, because they're fat, like, they're just faster than us, so, like, we don't want the Mimics. Is that what we want to be doing? I like all the removal spells. I like the cheap creatures. Maybe em I like Embraer because it like, picks off a lot of stuff. Maybe Endless One just like a stupid idiot. But I like how you can get bigger than Master of Ethereum. I think it might be Thought Not. What do you guys think? What if we did something like this? Or maybe like Reality Smash because it's really bad on defense. I like Displacer. Yeah, I think Displacer is good. I like maybe one Drowner. Maybe Smash is bad because we're mostly going to be on the defensive. I'm going to try something like this. I'm going to take out Thought Nuts here as we're on the, the draw. And put back in like either reality smash or endless one. All right, I'm gonna keep the sand. That's turn two stony silence. Then we can make a giant endless one.
Oh, uh, we should have played the the I. Because then we can make their endless one huge. That could come up. So we should have played Urborg instead of... Oh, sorry, we should have played Urborg instead of Cavern and Misspoke. Yeah. Like maybe we should have just saved this guy until he was bigger than a 5-5. Five five. So he can't get dismembered, like we made him like a 6-6 six six or something. Can we draw a spell? Nope. Right, so I'm going to attack. Like, I think I want to save this path for, like, when we really need it. You are getting hit with two. You're getting hit for how much? Three infect this turn? No, just two infect this turn? I guess not. Right, nice, 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 nice. Yuck. Do you want to pass anything? He has how many artifacts does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so he needs two things to kill our four, four. How much many? One, two, three, four, five. We have to might have to path our own guy. I'm trying to think if I want pathing thing in response. 
don't think so. Because he's going to have, let's see, he activates these guys. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he still has it even without one artifact. But he'll have 9. 9's fine. It only matters in 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. The problem is he's going to kill our endless one. Next turn. Alright, I'm just going to path it then. I'm definitely gonna trade with try and trade with the memory if it can. If you can let me. Do you still want to path the vault scourge? I think we can wait. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to path the false scourge. We, our opponent just played Aether Grid. And it's kind of wrecking us. Three, four, five. Yeah. Six. Oh, that's so good. All right, now I'm going to path. So we draw Disenchant, we can still win. Let's drown or do anything. We tack, tap this, tap four.
We still could win this game. Because he could block with the Income of Nexus directly. Damn it. I think we got really unlucky. Like, I think we drew like one, two, we drew four spell, five spells to our opponents. Like, like we played horribly by playing mis by misplaying the land. But I feel like both games you couldn't win. It's really annoying. So like we did, we played the right land. I think we could have won, but we probably need to draw like one more spell instead of like one of those Ivugans. I kind of just want to, like, not lose to a penny this GP. I think people are going to be playing it, and, like, I'm sick of losing to it. I, just might, I think we just want, like, Hercules Recall and, like, just... Like, just have the hate. 